Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Outside right now, mostly cloudy skies. Check out these temperatures here on the third day of February, 65 degrees. You know, this would be pretty incredible if we hadn't already had yesterday happen when we hit 76 degrees, which was a record high for the day. Winds breezy out of the southwest. Again, just looking at a lot of cloud cover across the area. Cold front still located to our northwest. That cold front will be dropping to the southeast, and that will flip our seasons from springtime to wintertime uh, by later tonight. Uh, it looks like we're going to get through most of this evening with mild temperatures, but long about late evening, midnight, that's when the front goes through and the temperatures start to take a tumble. Here's a look at uh, our temperatures here for tonight through tomorrow along with precipitation and I don't really expect a whole lot of precipitation tonight. Yes, there could be a few light showers with the front as it comes through, or maybe just on the back side of that front. Uh, you can see by 10 o'clock we're still looking at temperatures in the upper 50s. After midnight, temperatures start to really slide, and it looks like we're going to start off our Tuesday with readings in the 30s northwest, right around 40 here in Springfield, and still holding on to mild readings to the southeast. Uh, looks like we are also going to be looking at wetter weather developing across the area during the morning on Tuesday. Initially, maybe some drizzle, and then we'll see the rain pick up, I think, as the uh, morning progresses, and then that'll continue into the afternoon hours. Also, notice those temperatures. Have you been watching them? They've been going down. Uh, you can see uh, by noon tomorrow, looks like we'll be in the 30s here in Springfield, and those temperatures will slowly slide down to about 33, 34 as we wrap up the day on Tuesday. And it looks like light rain is going to continue through most of the rest of the afternoon. And as readings slip down to around freezing, that's going to switch things over across our northwestern counties to maybe a little light freezing rain. And that risk will, I think, drop southeast overnight Tuesday night. So looking at our forecast here in Springfield for tomorrow, 40. There could be some drizzle or light rain around. I don't expect it to be too terribly heavy, but I do expect the rain to pick up in intensity during the mid to late morning hours as temperatures fall into the upper 30s. By 3 o'clock, looks like readings will be in the mid 30s with light rain around. Things really get interesting after Tuesday. We've got a storm uh, right now that is swirling away over Utah. That storm will lead to a surface low that will move northeast uh, from northern Louisiana toward western Tennessee Wednesday into Wednesday night. Cold air is going to be in place over most of the area. And it looks like we're looking at a uh, winter storm impacting the area. Now, we'll get a little bit of winter weather Tuesday night. Here's a look how things will progress. This is 5 o'clock Tuesday. Look at it. You can see how the freezing line will be dropping southeast. This is midnight. Looks like a light wintry mix will be developing from northwest to southeast. Amounts are going to be very, very light. We're talking maybe some light freezing drizzle or very light freezing rain that could finish up as a little light snow. So a light glaze with a little bit of a dusting of snow on top through Tuesday night. Then we get to Wednesday morning. A little bit of a lull in the action early Wednesday. Here comes the next wave of wintry weather, and it looks like we're going to see a round of snow spread northeast across the area during the day on Wednesday. This is at noon on Wednesday. It looks like it'll be cold. I'm expecting snow over much of the area with accumulations. That risk for snow will continue into Wednesday evening. Uh, accumulations will continue to be possible into the evening hours, and then it looks like the snow will taper off to flurries by Thursday morning. And I do think that we're looking at slick roads to start off the day in much of the area. Thursday morning. As far as snowfall totals, looks like a general two to five inches near and north of the interstate, just south of the interstate, one to two inches. And then once you get to areas like Mountain Home, maybe through West Plains, over toward Birch Tree, looks like a dusting with areas further southeast. Really not expecting too much in those locations. Our seven day forecast, as you might expect, looking cold, 31 for high on Wednesday. Looks like uh, we may struggle to get above freezing on Thursday. Friday, partly sunny, uh, still a cold day. Could see some early snow on Saturday, giving way to clearing skies later in the day with highs near 40. And then uh, we'll hold on to chilly temperatures, but they'll be warmer Sunday into Monday. We'll be watching that snow chance for Wednesday. How about our viewers club number? Well, that number tonight is 160205, and our jackpot is $100. All right, Jamie, thank you. As we begin.